what's going on guys second um second week of um the the whole feature profile thing that we started last week i'm doing this video a day earlier um because i'm not gonna have any time on wednesday um my wife's coming back from her vacation so I'm not gonna be around anyway so this picture i really love this picture this was submitted by caesar torino awesome job i love the whole feel of this, um, especially the reflection here um, and the blue sky here. All right, so let's get cracking, like Gavin Howey says. All right, so first thing I want to do is I'm going to reduce the tint a little bit. Okay, about 30, 33. If you go too far, it's going to be all green, so don't go too far. See this? It's all green. So maybe. Maybe 30. All right. A little bit of blacks just to get your borders here slightly darker. Yeah, two is fine. All right. I'm going to increase the brightness a little because I'm going to increase the contrast as well. So I think And you can do a little extra because when you increase the contrast, it's gonna it's gonna balance it out. So this looks good to me, and now I'm gonna increase my contrast. And see that it's getting darker now. All right, 50, 50 looks good. Clarity just to make it a little bit sharper, somewhere around 20. Eh, 24 is fine too. I'll leave it at that. All right, so we got the clarity. I'm going to increase the vibrance. The thing that I'm trying to achieve, I'm such an idiot. I did not even, I did not even explain what I, what I'm trying to do. There's a lot of yellow tone going on. So if I reduce my saturation, uh, all this yellow stuff here, it's, it's going to go away, because this is not. It's a tricky um, edit because if I just decrease my temperature here and make this cooler the sky here is just gonna get super blue and it's just gonna look ugly so let me show you what I'm trying to say if I make this yellow here like bluish tone watch what's gonna happen to the sky that just looks so bad all this yellow tone here from uh, from here just disappeared but the sky just it, it looks terrible so I'm gonna leave that back to zero all right so where where were we? Vibrance. I'm going to increase the vibrance and then I'm going to increase the saturation to lose some of the yellowness from this area here. All right, so vibrance uh let's do maybe I think 75 is good. All right, and then I'm going to decrease my saturation. Okay. So maybe 80, yeah, something something like this. I'm going to increase the vibrance a little bit more. Okay, all right, that looks good. Saturation looks good. And if you want to see how this thing is, like the before and after, you could also see it like this. And as you work on this, you'll see the changes on this side only. All right, so for now, I'm just going to remove it. All right, now let's mess with your individual colors. Uh, your red tones, so I'm going to increase the red tone just a little bit in hue. So maybe around plus, plus 30. And I want to mess with some of the orange tones. I'm going to look for orange. And I'm going to increase the orange hue a little bit. 14 is good, I guess, and some of the yellow tones. All right, so here's my yellow tone. All right, so yellow tone is all the tone that's that was present in this area. So I don't want to make this yellow, obviously. So I'm not going to touch the hue. What I want to do is that I want to I want to mess with the luminance and make this thing brighter and make it pop. So I'm going to increase my luminance value um, in my yellow tone. So I'm going to go. I think 45 looks good. All right. Um, what else? 
All right, cool effect you could do. All right, if you want to mess with the sky here, you have your blue tone, and you can make this purple if you want. I'm not, I mean, I normally don't do this. See how the sky is just changing? It's all purple now. And you can reduce it and make it green. Obviously, it looks really fake. I mean, purple, you, purple, I've seen purple sky. So that's still, you know, okay. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it at, at zero because I, I like this tone here a lot. Um, all right, looks good. I just want to zoom in and see if, if there's any spot somewhere here that I want to get rid of. There is a little spot right here. This could be a dust spot, water spot. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to use a spot room wall. This is too big. There's that spot. Click and it's gone now. Okay. All right. I think I think I'm done. It looks it looks good to me. All right. Let's look at your before and after. And again, you guys can spend a lot of time doing this. I I like to do quick edits so all the beginners can learn. And once you learn all these things, I mean. You could do so many crazy things with this. I mean, black and white, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, one thing I missed is that the the picture is crooked. So I'm going to straighten this a little. Once again, I don't see the grid, which is really annoying. Still can't figure out what this is. All right, I think it looks good. Is it? I don't know. I think it's all right. I mean, whatever. All right, guys. So this is this is it. Really basic stuff. Here's your before and after. And I'll post this on the Facebook page if you guys want to check it out. All right. So that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.